Mussolini is an idiot no matter what happens. Hi, this is probably the hardest disaster you will see me play. Now, why do you think that is? Is it A, because the military situation is hopeless, looking at this, B, because I am just not that good and I make a lot of mistakes, or C, because the game is somewhat poorly designed in some aspects? Put your answer in the comments. Go ahead. So the reason this disaster is very, very difficult is quite simply because this is broken. The national balance of power does not work. Why? Whenever Italy, under Mussolini or one of the other fascists, anyone that isn't the Pope or the King loses a, a piece of territory, you get a modifier lost course. Well, it's not entirely correct. Like the This bar physically moves every time you lose, I believe, even if it's just a colony state, the bar moves about five or ten points towards the council of, uh, well, these guys. If, however, you also lose a core, you get a ticking daily modifier of 0.5%. That's not good. That's not good at all. And you can tell here that the game thinks we've lost three cores, and that's where the biggest problem comes in. Because we've only lost two cores. See, we have lost Sardinia, we can get it back, and we have lost Istria. We can also get it back if we're quick enough. But the game thinks we've lost three. Why is that? Well, if at any point during the campaign you lose even a single core and take it back, the next hour, you get the lost core penalty, and it will never, ever go away until you win that war. Bug, oversight, or deliberate design choice, I'll let you decide, but I am very unhappy about this. So I can reduce this to lost cores, just one negative modifier, but I can never make it go away. So the bar will continuously take down. Mussolini is going to get the post, which isn't great, but it's not something that's game breaking. When we get here, total control of the Grand Council, we get a civil war. And that's game over. I cannot win the Italian Civil War and hold off the Allies. But mostly because the uh, the army gets so split and disjointed and just massacred, there is no winning. You can't win that. It's not possible. How is the situation, you ask? Well, this game was set up as Italy trying to take Austria before Germany did. And apparently he succeeded. Alongside the Allies, he managed to defeat Germany, take Austria. Now Germany's in the Allies. And he somehow managed to end up at war with those new Allies. Like, his entire faction has been overrun. All of these nations are effectively gone, deleted, destroyed. That's not gone well for him. And he's at war with an allies at more than full power. So UK, France, Germany, and the United States. So this is in no way, shape, or form a situation where we can just end the war quickly and get rid of the modifier. No. So what will I do? Let's take a look here at the military situation. East, gigantic mess. Two things I want to do is take these units and attack the port. I want to take out that port quickly. These units diversionary attack south to prevent reinforcements from reinforcements from entering the port. These units and these units attack that tile, try to draw units away. And these units attack that tile along with a little support attack there just to get a little more of a foothold here. I think that will work. Everything north here is getting withdrawn. We are just headed to a more defensible area around Klagenfurth and whatever tiles we can reclaim here. Probably from Istria up to Klagenfurth and then a mountain tile. You have somehow, some why, I don't know how, managed to get a bunch of divisions encircled. I doubt I can get them out, but I'm going to try. Now, these guys all just fall back, fall back. This is a mountain tile. Yes, it only has one division on it, but it's a tank. I don't think I can pierce the tank. Eh, maybe, but even so, reinforcements are already walking in, and it's going to be incredibly difficult to dislodge that. But I'll try to get these guys out. Fortunately, even if we fail, I can simply disband the unit and get the equipment and manpower back, because they're not technically encircled. There is impassable terrain here, but the game seems to think it's connected to our territory, so I'll make use of that and just delete these units if I can't save them. I'm gonna sit on a defensive line and free up more units once I've figured out the east. If and when I take Rikia back, should be able to, I'm going to set up a naval invasion of Sardinia. Now, looking at your navy, it's probably, well, depending on how many ships are in, uh, in repair right now, it's probably big enough, combined with what's left of the air force and the submarines, to get, like, a, a small 
small chance of naval supremacy. I just need a little bit and then I can invade Sardinia, take it back. That would bring me back to one Lost Cores modifier. If it's just the one, we can at least stay alive. How do we stay alive? Well, if you ever find yourself playing an Italy game and you've lost a core and the modifier doesn't go away, these decisions, so praise the army, praise the navy, praise the air force and hold a military parade are available once every 365 days. They are enough to offset. If you don't lose any other territory and you don't lose any other core and you just have the permanent penalty, those four decisions should be enough to offset the loss. We're also going to look at our focuses and we're going to take this focus. It gives us another 5% towards Benito. That just buys us more time. All right, the Air Force, it barely exists. I'm going to halt it. I'm going to uh, fly it over here and we're going to keep it in reserve for our naval operations. Navy is all repairing. Let's just make sure they have the dockyards they need. I'll reorganize the army, but first I want to make these offensives and then I'll draw a field marshal order somewhere like this. Hopefully including that tile, that tile, and these tiles. If I'm quick enough on the counterattack, I should be able to dislodge them. Don't forget this. You got two tiles here that you would very much need to plug. We have a couple of tanks. I'd like to bring them over here just in case the infantry is not enough to handle the situation. And then they can dislodge whatever's in that port, probably. You are recruiting a couple more tanks. I salute that. Let's look at your division design. So your basic infantry is all right. One-on-one -on -one combat with. It's not optimal. It's not net. It's not bad. It's not great. It's fine. I have been told by various sources that if you want to just hold a line, basic line holding infantry that does not actually attack, 15 width is the more cost effective way to go. I can see that. But and again, I haven't had any issues with 21 width. So these guys are my preferred unit. And I'm going to remove the signal companies. I do not like signal companies. These are your regular garrisons. Nothing inherently wrong with it. You could downsize these like 12 width, but this is fine. I'm not going to waste any experience beyond this, except for this. I'm going to remove the military police. The military police is useless in any division that is not designed purely for garrison. And I don't mean like naming them garrisons and putting them on ports. I mean, actual game mechanic garrisons of these guys like garrison templates. And that should always be either cavalry or specifically designed light tanks. Bersaglieri, oh, so you got bicycle divisions. Cool. Uh, I don't use them. And these are your tanks. Not bad. Org is a little low. So I'm going to remove one tank, 30 org. 30 combat with this is fine 35 combat with is also good so we would put the tank back in and then add like uh either a motorized artillery or a what do i call that other thing uh self-propelled gun but these will do for now i'm again removing the signal companies i just don't think they're that good let's look at your doctrines that's not a lot of investment in land doctrines I gotta say. So we're gonna take integrated support and shock and awe as soon as we can get it. So naval doctrine. Yeah, fleeting being is not bad per se. Air doctrines also filled out. All right. And then special for... Ah, this is where you put your army XP. You've gone with mountaineers. Good. I would make the same choices except down here. My, my preference goes to backbone instead of shared instructors. But I don't think it actually matters. So that's nice. Now, what I did notice is you don't have any mountaineers. So where are they? Ah, that's where they are. Bit thick. So, uh, a couple of pointers. If you have support anti-air, you need no other anti-air. Does nothing except shoot more planes down, but doesn't actually reduce any combat bonuses further. Support anti-air is fine. As for their combat width, it should be 25. So remove a couple of divisions. 25 combat width. This is perfect for mountaineers. I am going to add those rangers you got. Rangers are really good for additional soft attack. Look, they add almost 30 on their own. Prioritize reinforcement and garrisons. That should be it. We'll use Graziani to hold the west, wait, the east, and then we'll put Italo Balbo in charge of whatever's left, uh, the east probably. So these guys are all foreign troops. If I can get them out, great. If not, we'll just get rid of them. These are the tanks. These are your Alpine line and these guys. I think I'm going to make these guys into your mountaineers. Yeah, I can afford the expense and we're going to add a couple of extra mountaineers to the mix. Research. This is not so great. So the advanced uh, versions of research things are a bit of a trap. By the time you're getting them, you will have wasted a lot of time that you could spend elsewhere, blah, blah, blah. I just usually don't go past computing machine. That's just me. Instead, let's put them to good work here on support equipment. Anti-tank's good. This hasn't been picked. So let's see. Either better guns, better artillery stuff. Air, we're going to leave as is because I have other priorities. Engineering, again,
again as is industry. Yeah, we're gonna put some in industry because we have no oil. Italy famously has like nothing in terms of oil. So improved oil processing and synthetic refineries are gonna be important. And when centimetric radar finishes, I'll either put it in fuel refining or better artillery. Other than that, it's fine. Like production, guns, good. Support equipment, bit much. Improved artillery, okay. AA, okay. Medium tanks, bit much, but I like medium tanks. So I can't really fault you for that. Trucks is fine. War austerity trains. These are good. Like these are the absolute cheapest trains you can make, but I personally prefer to go with armor trains if I'm playing a game where I'm not expected to get air superiority. So if I get bombed a lot, I find that armor trains, even though I make fewer of them, last longer. War austerity trains, yes, you can make a lot of them, but you won't be able to outproduce the enemy bombing, which I find armor trains can do. So just uh, a little personal preference there. You're making fighters and you're making casts. All right, so first off, I will probably ditch the casts once the factories run out. We're going to lose a couple of factories when we pull out of these areas, so I will ditch the cast first. Fighters, let's see what you're making. Oh, I think this predates a certain patch because your design is now illegal. <laughs> You've made an illegal design, sir. I'm just going to get rid of the drop tanks. The range loss is, is bad. I don't like it, but it will make these at least capable of being produced. And in Europe, you don't need that much range. We can always tune this later on, so I'll, I'll make these. Yeah, and your cast design is... Yeah, this is pretty pointless. This is mostly for strat bombers and other designs, but I never really use it. I'm just an idiot, so who knows? You, you might be onto something. I think in terms of production, that's going to be it. Are we lacking any specific thing? Ah, a bit of support equipment. So maybe we should upgrade the production of support equipment. All right. Construction. You're not building anything, so it was, something tells me you kind of gave up. What I want is a bunch of synthetics so I can run my tanks, my navy, and hopefully a future air force. And then I want more mills in the highest development province pretty much. I also want a little bit of infrastructure, but you've built up most of it. I'm going to build more here and here to get more resources out of those tiles. A little bit of extra steel and a little bit of extra aluminum and a couple more synthetics because you can never really have enough synthetic refineries. Trust me. Let's see if we can make some better destroyers. Uh, something cheap. Yeah, just a roach destroyer and I'll add on some torpedoes later when I have a little bit of extra Navy experience. It doesn't have to be great, but I do like having a couple of, you know, a, a way more destroyers than I actually need. You, you never really know just how many destroyers you're going to lose. It's always going to be more than you think. All right, so the main problem I see going forward is the balance of power, a lack of resources because we have no tungsten, just sheer soul-crushing despair as I try to force my way out. But let's first see if we can take Reykja. I've planned my naval invasions here. Uh, as soon as the fleet's repaired, we're gonna go for it, or at least try to go for it. As for MIOs, the general rule of thumb is whatever gets you more equipment, first, and then whatever gets you better equipment. And with better in single player, better means soft attack and breakthrough. So we've retaken the port of whatever that was. Good. Uh, now we have to make sure the line holds steady, steady. Germany's just started Barbarossa. That means the Soviets and the Allies are going to go to war. I'm not war with the Soviets, so I can only welcome this. Oh, I forgot about your spy agency as the radio interception group, working on cryptology. You've got a lot of spies here, which is okay, but I want to put more spies here since I planned to be pushing into France first. I will leave a spy on the border here because it mitigates the enemy planning bonus so it doesn't hurt us as much when they attack. And then maybe I'll do the same thing up here. It's also, uh, since I have the equipment and manpower, let's just train up a couple of fresh divisions here. 15 should fill out that army. Should be able to hold, though. I might have to yield some ground here and there. If I cannot hold on to Klagenfurt, for instance, I will have to fall back to this tile, this line here. I just cannot give up on Fiume. No matter how much they attack me, I cannot afford to give up on Fiume. I'm gonna replace your ground support, guys, since you don't have that much cast anyway. And I'm gonna hire the artillery specialist since pretty much every one of your divisions has artillery. So we've set up for the meme. We'll kill them now, take the area around it, and then just let them land troops in Anzio every now and then. And you just use these divisions. So uh, all of my mountaineers that I'm not using for the naval invasion to continuously kill whatever lands here. It's gonna be incredibly funny, I think. And then halt the advance. And now I hope they land more and more troops in Lazio. I kill them, I just delete divisions. 
it hopefully takes a little bit of pressure off this. I'm gonna move my tanks away from here. Oh, for God's sake, they sank two heavy cruisers and three destroyers. So everything that I had repairing in there has just been intercepted and sunk. Okay, support the attack. You guys head south. We'll leave two divisions there and start planning to push up into Corsica. The other guys here all head south. Oh, I forgot. They landed some tanks here. Best kill them now. Yes, we're down to just one negative per week. Uh, lost cores instead of three. So it's still gonna be awful, but it's no longer a daily loss. It's more of a weekly loss at this point. I think at this stage we've stabilized it. I don't think we'll lose to the Civil War, so now it's going to be a matter of building up and chipping away at France. They have lost their um, disjointed government, though. I, th I still think they're the weakest ones here. So chip away at France, control that, set up port guards, and then start taking out Germany, etc. This is why you go with the northern industry. We're locked out of this trade for pretty much most of our design companies, except the ones that we don't use anyway. This is so good. 10% production output. I just threw it away. I'm going to put these cruisers out there. Heavy cruisers with one heavy gun, the cheapest heavy gun I can fit, and most of the other armaments are just secondary batteries, the best secondaries I can fit, and I want to get better fire control, don't have it yet, I'll upgrade that later. I decided to slap on radar for the extra hit chance on light batteries, why not, and some AA. Let's put these out, I think these will do well to uh, make the other guys go away, and hopefully we can produce a fair number of those before things go too badly. I must have killed like a bunch of units doing this. This is cheesy, I know. It's incredibly cheesy, but uh, most of these disaster saves need a little bit of cheese. Uh, some, some cheesy seasoning to make it through. I should really be putting maintenance companies into these tanks just to steal whatever lands in Anzio. We're capturing some stuff. More or less. Oh, this is cool. I think Denmark is running through its mechanics where it, you know, wants to throw off the German yoke. And there are no allies to turn to. So, um, and I guess they chose our help. Sweet. I'll help you out. Meanwhile, Soviets have landed here. So it does look like the Soviets are giving the allies a run for their money. But I don't see them winning this long term. Soviet Union is massive and strong if left alone long enough. But I don't think they can outproduce the allies in the end. Now, I am providing a massive distraction for the allies. And I welcome... Oh, maybe not welcome Stalin's arrival here because he's sitting on a lot of my land. Well, my friend's land. But uh, any distraction helps. Looks like the Mountaineers are finally coming into their own. We're pushing them out of Piemont step by step. Having some extra doctrines definitely helps. So a lot of soft attack. This has been an excellent piggy bank for equipment as well. Just uh, delete the unit, conquer the equipment. Other than that, this is a bit risky though. Like, oh, they are constantly hitting me here. And I can hold this line, but every now and then things get a little hairy. Oh yes, we're starting to kill them in the mountains. We'll retake Turin. I've already captured Nice, so Savoy is ours. This remains precarious, but I think my plan of killing France first still stands. Getting the collaboration government in soon, air quotes. Yep did it. So they're cut off. Now I just need to condense the pocket. Now I'll go through the north of the, with the mountaineers straight to Lyon. That's the supply hub. And uh, these guys are probably forced to ploy out so we can... Ooh, I'm really short on artillery. Damn, I wish I could just pull one of these armies away, but I can't afford the risk. I've uh, converted two of these as well to just garrisons. I'll, I've, I've given up on taking Corsica by force, and I'm gonna try and get these guys out. If I see. If they sink, that's bad for me because I don't have the equipment to lose. Maybe I can set them to strike force. Uh, hopefully, like, escort the vessels or at least inter uh, stop. Oh, can I do... Convoy escort is pretty expensive in terms of fuel, so I'll just put them to strike force, maybe intercept whatever submarines go after the units. Mountaineers are getting prepared for the push on Lyon and down here. Uh, yeah, push is going all right, I guess. It's expensive in terms of fuel, but fuel is meant to be spent, right? Yeah. Yeah, two of the divisions were just destroyed outright. Wow. All right, keep marching, keep marching. Maybe I can get an encirclement in if I can push south from there and north from here. There are opportunities to be had. We're going to take Lyon. Right, good, let's use half the men to go south. That gives us the supply hub here, and we'll be able to push further in. This gives us northern and southern supply, and then I can move my army here to try to create some sort of encirclement. The fresh divisions are on their way. This meat grinder can keep grinding. I'm not going to use my air force for this. I... It's, it's, 
well, it's simply not big enough. <laughs> so far, I've lost 110 fighters, but I've shot down significantly more of the enemy. So I'd say overall, we're trading favorably. I'm going to keep them up. Oh, it's done. But I need to reorganize this. This is a gigantic mess. So I'll delete all the front lines. I'll use the mountaineers to clean up the mountain pocket. I'll use the tanks in the south to try and push across the river. And then the base infantry can use the field marshal order to sit on the main front line. Destination Paris. Still, that's 12 French divisions deleted. Might actually just make it to Bordeaux anyway. Made it to Bordeaux. The tanks will clean the southern pocket. All the infantry go to the north. Just make sure this dies first before we do anything else and then use the tanks to clean house towards the south yes well as soon as we actually take bordeaux i think that means i can now trade with portugal without it oh yes i can trade with portugal and portugal again that is going to be a load off my mind and we can actually ramp up production from this point forward so heavy into artillery infantry everything we are building again. We are building again. Well, in any case, it looks like at least southern France is going to be under our control. Yeah, I am going to way overstretch my lines with all these maneuvers, but if I can pull them off, though, yes, we're going to get the Limoges. Just need need more. I, I need more men here. I, I just need more troops on this front. Straight into Limoges. Small pocket is better than no pocket. All to the outside of the line. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now use the tanks to kill the small pockets. Oh, redeploy faster. Next up, uh, I have a little bit of fuel, so I should also prep the tanks. We're going to go from here up to tours and maybe like a cut towards Vichy with the other half of the tanks. Uh, we'll see how that goes. France is first to die, though. Has to be. Okay, pocket. All these divisions to the outside border. And I'll just use the tanks and the mountaineers as well. I'll use the mountaineers to go here quickly to push there, and I'll use the tanks to push here-ish. All right, that's good. That's a good move. That's a good move. I like that move. I just got to make sure that this doesn't collapse instantly. Okay, those American divisions are gone. Lovely pocket, that. Lovely pocket. Now I'm going to use the mountaineers to make a pincer move towards Lyon. Ten on each side. Hopefully we can uh, put an end to the problems here then. Load of pinning attacks. Then we can take Lyon. Lyon, create a big, oh, big, huge, massive pocket down south. Ooh, we're going to take Paris. We're going to take Paris. We're going to take, oh, naval invasion. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Paris, Paris, Paris. Take Paris. Take, <laughs> take in Paris. It's not enough, though. I know that. But now, now, what if I then, like, cut north from Paris towards Dieppe Lavre? Perfect. And then use the mountaineers like on this side to start pushing south towards Brest. Yes, that cuts this whole thing in half. I just hope I have the infantry to hold. So we're clo we're gonna need to close this, and we're gonna need to close this quickly. Attack. That's gonna be good, despite not having air advantage. If you have AA in your divisions in single player, you can do pretty much anything you want. And soon we're gonna have air. This is gonna give my industry such a boost, because I have very high, com well, very high. I have reasonable compliance in uh, France, so I can take a lot of their stuff. Oh, they might actually cap. They might actually cap when I close this. France has capitulated. Well, at least that's something. Kill whatever's left here, and then get your asses to the Maginot. Right now they just push, push, push before they manage to get all these units out. Okay, so that is at least some of their divisions trapped here. I guess we're just gonna gotta go and justify in Belgium. Oh, Spain just joined Japan, so we're not even gonna try to take the form Rome. I'm, I'm not forming Rome. I smell an opportunity. Because Spain joined Japan and it's now at war with the UK, Gibraltar has just opened up. I can sail my ships out. I can take my name Navy, head on out to the channel and try to seize naval superiority over the channel. I'm gonna see if I can get a naval invasion going from Lavre to like Dover and other areas there. Yeah, I'm thinking it might not be immediately viable to get the naval invasion going. I'm gonna give it a little more time. I am building a couple more heavy ships and a bunch of extra destroyers. Maybe that combined will be enough. Happy days. Uh, the US or UK de redeployed some of its fleet. I got my airplanes out. That got us over 50% naval 
naval supremacy. Naval evasion's on the way. I hope the fleet doesn't have to fight right now because I'm just in the middle of refitting <laughs> my capital ship into something a little more fighty. Slow this down. We should be able to take these ports if that happens. Uh, I'm going to quickly ferry the armor across when we do take a port. Hopefully overrun the UK quickly. Naval invade the Dutch afterwards and then drive into the German heart. Ah, uh, two of my mountaineers got intercepted, so I won't be able to, to surround Dover. All right, that's it. We're in. Let's go. Now we'll also deploy what little remains or what little air force we've been able to build up just to give us a little bit of an opportunity. It might be difficult because there are like a lot of Americans here. That's going to be annoying. Supply will be difficult to arrange. There are many, many ships in the channel between us and supply. And we're working our way through the south. Okay. Oh, at least I have the fuel to keep my tanks rolling. The air force fighting. Uh, I should probably stop the air force from fighting because they're just dying out here. But we're almost done. I just need to keep up the pressure a little bit longer. A little bit more. Just a little more. Oh! It's done. The UK has capitulated. Oh, it feels good. My renewed navy has taken the Dutch navy apart. I've also set up uh, two task forces just to convoy escort in the channel. It's really annoying getting everything sunk. Plus, this helps them more or less catch the enemy submarines a little easier. Justification is finished. We're just going to declare war on Belgium. Knock them out quickly. Get to the capital. Get to all the victory points before they can respond. And... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll try and just pushing pushing through before too many other troops can arrive and then we'll pick apart the um, the Netherlands. I can then invade the Netherlands uh, via sea if I wanted to because I would get a land connection via Belgium anyway. The matter is just I, I want to avoid the channel whenever I can because it's like really annoying. Yeah, they're already dead. They just don't know it yet. There it goes. Belgium. Okay. I need to adjust this front line. I can go all the way around and the Mountaineers while they are not exactly perfectly suited to not fighting in mountains. They are going to help me push through other terrain. And the tanks head north. And I think we'll be able to take the Netherlands quickly as well. Well, oh, Netherlands are gone at least. And for now, Mountaineers. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to integrate them into the main line and do the pushing with the tanks. I think it's safest if I just use the tanks to make uh, a big drive on whatever, really. Just, just push, take victory points, take supply hubs. Give us an edge in the region. All right, I think that's the breach we've been hoping for. Now I can let my tanks run amok in the German plane. Preferably find a way to encircle the troops here. Pretty much probably by pushing towards the Swiss border. Train more troops. I'm going to need more divisions on that line. And just keep driving the tanks south before too much of a solid defense can materialize here. Take the supply hubs. Always prioritize on taking the supply hubs if you have a chance. Because the more you disrupt the enemy's supply network, the harder it's going to be for them to keep all those troops there and to keep all those troops supplied. And if those troops are not supplied, they're going to be way easier to push if you want to make like a big, big frontal assault. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. I think we have encirclement. Yes. The entire section around Luxembourg is encircled. I got the bastards and they're gonna hurt. Oh, they're gonna feel this one. Oh, they are going to feel this one. As long as they're not able to pry this back open, I, I don't see them uh, liberating these troops. Yeah, th we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's maybe make some mech as well. Make the tanks a little chunkier. I do like this new tank design, though. I think I'm gonna use it more often. Somebody on the Reddit recommended this design to me. Uh, I could switch this out for mech in optimal circumstances, but yeah, I uh, quite like these units. Like 500 guys. <laughs> that's a nice amount of soft attack. Look at the amount of divisions trapped here. I think that's half the German army. That has to be like half the German army here. This is this is 100 divisions. So many units stuck here and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. When they go, I don't think they can easily recover from that kind of loss. Unfortunately, uh, they're, they're sitting on the Maginot and I, I can't easily push the Maginot, but they're stuck here. Oh, push them into one single tile. Get the armor in there. And pretty much everyone get to the main front line, start pushing there, except for the Mountaineers. I'll use the Mountaineers and the armor to clear the last pocket of the Maginot. Oh, this is so, this is more than a hundred divisions on a single tile and they're all trapped. Unless the Swiss 
stab me in the back now. If they join the war now, that would be bad. All out assault. See what we can do here. This is 140 divisions on a single tile. And we got him. We got him. Total collapse of Germany. Inbound. Beautiful. How did it now have 166 divisions when I just deleted 100 of their divisions and they had 180? They must have force deployed a lot of trash then. In any case, we're, we're, we're getting this done. We're getting this done. Let's just halt the assault for a small smidgen. Reorganize. Uh, maybe just use the tanks a little bit more effectively. Yeah, I'm going to limit myself to tank use until I can find a little bit more manpower. I just don't want to go up conscription laws anymore. It's going to be expensive enough as it is. Even without manpower, Germany is collapsing. Germany is for guns kaput. Ooh, so there are small pockets of resistance left. It's inconsequential. The main front now. The mountaineers move south. Actually, this is just an entire front. Just, just, yeah, move the entire army to the this front. We'll knock out Poland next, then go for the Balkans. And I should start planning a naval invasion of North Africa. Well, to allow my fleet to get back into the Mediterranean. And then I can actually start getting ready to uh, reclaim Rome. All right, sweet. There's not a lot of troops left on that side. Let's see, Poland. They got barely anything. So the, there's only real opposition maybe down south here, but we'll be able to liberate most of it before they can get troops into position and then strike out from the south as well. Just all out assault. Break them. There goes Poland. And unfortunately, everything was handed to the Soviet Union. So a little sad about that. But eh. now, I don't intend to fight the Soviets, though. I really have no desire to fight the Soviet Union in this. But uh, I'm just glad to get the continent under control. So this is what total collapse looks like. <laughs> Four years of suffering. Four years of pain. We did it. We absolutely did it. We'll just mop up the Balkan and like, I don't want to naval invade. I, I don't want to go and fight the Americans and I don't want to fight the Soviets, but I do want to get the Roman Empire. So Mare Nostrum. So I'll, I'll work towards getting all of those territories. We'll form Rome and call it a day. Like The thing I see is probably a naval invasion of North Africa from the Atlantic. Take North Africa through a small campaign, get my fleet back in here. Naval invade Corsica, Malta, Crete, you know, the allied holdings there. And I should be able to take all the territory I need to form Rome. And if the Soviets get in the way, we'll kill them too. All right, with the war in Europe drawing to a close, went to the Spanish, got military access again. I'm going to set up a naval invasion from Sevilla down into North Africa. I could betray the Spanish at my leisure later, so I don't mind uh, flipping things like Spanish Africa back to them. I probably would have been better off with Greater Italy instead of Mare Nostrum because I am not going to be able to capture everything, I'm afraid. It's not going to stop me from trying. And that is the last European holdings taken. But Europe is free, at least the mainland is, and it's a, it's a giant mess. Uh, having to split everything with the Soviets is horrible. And with Europe secured, this is where we can end it. Italy is secure. It has all the strength it needs. Yes, our allies are still occupied. And yes, there's still a war ongoing. But from this point forward, it's just a matter of mopping up North Africa. We can do the focus that brings the South American countries into line. We can then use those as a staging ground to invade North America and get the peace deal, take the land we want, form Rome. And if we really wanted to from that point, we could most certainly take on the Soviet Union. But I'm not going to do that. This video is long enough as it is already. I hope you guys have enjoyed my suffering with Mussolini and I will not touch this country for a good long while. Hope you guys will enjoy this next video as well. See ya.